The delivery over IP really shakes things up. It allows us to go directly from uh, a baseband video and audio uh, to an IP format that we can deliver to consumers and cut out uh, a huge swath of uh, the pieces in between. And uh, this allows content producers uh, to participate in creating video content and distributing video content without the resources of a major network. So it's no longer limited to just an ABC or NBC or ESPN. Uh, so it's sort of a, uh, uh, a leveling of the playing field. Um, we're also leveraging the massive investment in the internet that's been made by uh, governments and, and carriers um, such as Level 3 and, and uh, Cogen and the like, um, and sort of the, uh, the massive distribution that we see with the internet to the home. Uh, so overall, I see this as a democratization of the broadcast tools. Uh, and this is similar to uh, what I saw happen with uh, music, where we saw a lot of independent production happen maybe two decades ago. And we've also seen it uh, in the film industry and the publishing industry with things like ebooks and publishing. So um, now small independent producers can produce uh, live content in much the same way that only large broadcast networks used to be able to. And the other interesting thing that's happening is that the spread between uh, big content producers, like your major networks, and your independents is now shrinking. So the production quality that an independent producer can hope to achieve is continually uh, growing and, uh, and approaching what used to only be accessible if you had a really large budget. Um, yeah, here's the animation that I was looking for a minute ago. Um, OK. So uh, the big question remains right here. Um, what happens sort of, it's easy to just draw an arrow and a diagram and say, OK, we're going we're gonna to just encode and go directly IP. But there's actually quite a few devils in the details um, in this step right here, which I will refer to as the uh, contribution or backhaul side. And this is, if you're doing a live production in the field, and you're encoding in the field, what is standing between your content and getting it into data center infrastructure, cloud infrastructure, and then out to the rest of the world? And, uh, and in many cases, that is the public internet. And uh, there's quite a number of uh, pitfalls there. 